So I watched film on the top QBs in this draft class, and this is how they stack up. Number one is Malik Willis. Malik Willis is the best QB in this class, and it's so easy to see. Willis has the arm, the intelligence, and the frame to be a great quarterback at the next level. When he gets around those other NFL players, watch out, because Willis will have better weapons than he's ever had, and you know what that means. His player comparison is Steve McNair. Number two on the list is Sam Howell. Sam Howell is the second best option in this draft. He's got a stocky frame so he can put his weight into his throws. Howell also throws the ball better than most of the QBs in this draft. His skill set is more polished than Kenny Pickett's or Matt Corral's. His player comparison is Baker Mayfield. Number three on the list is Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett is a competitor and that's always a good thing. He can also scramble and create plays when needed but he does need a couple of layers of polish on his skill set. That will be the challenge when he makes the jump to the NFL. His player comparison is Ryan Tannehill. Number four on the list is Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter made some really nice throws on his tape, and he's also a great athlete. Those are things he has going for him, but you also have to worry if he's another Marcus Mariota, a guy who made all the throws in college and then struggled at the next level. Their film is shockingly similar. His player comparison is obviously Marcus Mariota. Number five on the list is Matt Corral. Matt Corral is a quarterback that is dependent on play action. He's a system quarterback. Most of his throws are short and he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. But those things are far from a franchise quarterback. His player comparison is Kyle Allen. So there it is. Those are the top five QBs in this draft. I'm John Kuzma. Check out endzoneblog.com.